So hello, today I'm not going to be making progress in the game, I'm just going to be briefly, well, it depends on how long it takes obviously, I'm going to be trying to catch all the fish stuff now that it's apparently doable at this point in the game, I don't need to progress further to finish it all. So I'm just going to be doing that, I'm going to not talk too non-stop because it's just going to be the fishing, but I just feel like it's interesting to keep track of how long it takes to catch the remaining like nine fish I need because I think there's nine fish left um, one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah nine fish left I'm gonna catch them try and catch them all and be done with the fishing so that's what I'll do now the first goal is a pearl glass which is available in harbor or a few other places old armorica road uh, rest area and saint ursula medical college Michelomorph. and they're caught with either dumplings or deluxe dumplings i do not know what can use deluxe dumplings there i can use dumplings for now Though I think once I catch one more, I can buy deluxe dumplings. So if I catch it right here, then I'm then I'm good. I can go buy, get the next tier in the fishing guild and uh, East Street. So I think I can get the next tier, which means that I can buy deluxe dumplings. And I think that's the only bait I'll be able to buy. First class fisher. <laughs> Mr. Fisher is funny every time. Yeah, I can buy deluxe dumplings. Yeah, basically, oh, okay, now the others you can catch more stuff. Yeah, that's seven more fish, and then I rank up. Let's buy, like... Okay, actually, sure, so get max deluxe dumplings. And part of the reason that I want to do this... Oh, no. Is... This carries over to Azure as well, apparently. So just having different fishing bait that you can properly purchase sooner. Uh, maybe it's sooner, maybe it's at all, is nice. The real party is right here. What a funny joke. So I'm looking for a Viper Head, which needs s Snow Crabs or Cassigan. I think I uh, no, Feather Tackle can't use that. Bamboo Rod can use Snow Crabs? Okay, I only have one Snow Crab and one Cassigan, so I'll have to find how to catch more if I can't get the Viper Head here. Oh, I need it for the Python Head as well. Which I might already have. Or do I already have the Viper Head? I don't have the Python Head? I need to check. So I have the python head and the viper head already, good now. So I already had, I think, the python head, and now I have the viper head, that's good. I have the catfish. Yes, yeah, so next I'm gonna look for the queen crab. So everything, so the ash crab, arch crab needs snow crabs. So I should have used the cassigan there, and I don't have any snow crabs. There's two that need deluxe dumplings and two that and one that needs viper head slash python head. So Queen Crab needs carp. How many carp do I have? Let's just check here how many carp I have. Is it horizon rod with carp? Five, that's maybe enough. I need to go to the Geofront B sector or ancient or Ancient Battlefield Pond, but I think B Sector also has the Electric Eel. B 
sector is by the residential district. I said, no, is this B or A? Yes. We need to get to the fishing spot here, which is near the fight. Going this way will be faster. Because it's, I think, right here. So I need carp. I need a queen crab and an electric eel that can be gotten here. And this will be queen crab. I need to keep doing this until I get the electric eel. If I get a max length electric eel, I get an EP cut 3. Which, like, if you were just going for maximum combat power, you probably would- it probably would be worth- Hey, I'm done. Oh, that's so close to max length. Anyway, I think I'm done here. Now I need a demon catfish. From East Crossbell Highway River. An arch crab. That requires a snow crab, so I have to fish for a snow crab to get that. So yeah, I'll go get the East Crossbell Highway River. Let's check snow crab first. Snow crab is earthworms. Uh, oh, Geofront B sector with earthworms can get snow crabs. Let's get a few snow crabs first. This is gonna be. This seems like it's gonna be pretty quick to get all the fish. So it, it. I'll still get. Oh, great. It all depends on if I can get snow crabs. But I'll still get. My, okay, good. I'll try to get one more. I'll still succeed in getting my throat a little bit more of a rest this weekend. One more, one more crab. Okay, now I'm done. I probably didn't even need two, but... So what I'm going for now is... The... So demon catfish. East Crossbell Highway River. Which might be faster from the fork. It seems like this might be a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Because I think a lot of these, it, might, it seems to me like these later fish might be easier to catch because they're they're only in one or two spots, and they use higher tier bait, so they can't, so they don't, might not loop with the lower tier fish as much, so you can catch it more regularly, it seems. Okay, so I'm using a carp, catching a demon catfish. Then I need to go to the ancient battlefield pond to get the arch crab. Or arc crab. Oh. Okay. This might not be good if I get more catfish here. One more try, and then I'll have to go hunt for carp. Hoping I wasn't gonna have to. Of course, I'm assuming this is East Crossbell Highway River. Oh. Okay. I was wrong. It's gonna take longer than I was hoping. Or, no, it's gonna take as long as I was originally thinking, because I'm gonna have to hunt for carp. Because catfish ruined me. Carp can be caught. At a bunch of places. Using a bunch of stuff. So they can also be caught with snow crabs, so if that overlaps with... No, it definitely doesn't overlap with the arch crab, 
or arc crab. So I'm gonna go to Old Armorica Road Rest Area, which is this zone, and use Deluxe Dumplings to try to catch some carp. Because Deluxe Dumplings seem like the choice because I can buy them. Like, I think the... Unless it's actually harder to catch, the very last fish will probably be... Like, unless it's... The timing to catch it is harder. I think it will be easier to catch the last fish because I don't think anything else, else eats python heads or viper heads. So I'm using... Can the bamboo rod? Yes. So I want to catch like five or six carp to be safe. There's a certain range of carp that gives a reviving bomb, which would be useful to catch. Two. Yeah, looking at the like game FAQs guide. Oh, so I might slow it too. Like, a lot of these fish would be great ways to get, like, quartz early. Well, you can get it now, and you wouldn't be able to get it. Ooh, curl glass. Still only at two. Like, the arch crab, if you catch the max length range, that's a mine three. Though, the... The last three, like the gold, gold salmon, noble carp, serpent head, all only have one length value, it seems. And they can be... Oh, actually, this is also where I want to catch the noble carp. So I need to fish here for the noble carp anyway, so that's how long I'll be here any for... Until I catch at least one noble carp. I'll be stuck here. But yeah, the Noble Carp gives a Pisces gem, which is funny. And it can be sacrificed to the cat for a heal. Quartz. I think it's a 0.15 chance. If that's what that number on in that column presents. Oh, oh, pay attention. The timing. Yeah, so the timing gets to 0.15 seconds for Noble Carp and 0.1 for Serpent Head. Whereas for reference, Carp are... 0.4 seconds. Which, like, I, theoretically, that's what makes it so that eventually the best way to catch fish is to just repeatedly click the catch button and increase the interval gradually to eventually, eventually you'll increase it enough and it will trigger the catch instantly like you'll time it. it will be timed so that it will trigger the catch at least in earlier games that's what you would do for reference what's the pearl glass supposed to be 0.3 so still a lot of time compared to the python head oh there perfect what the heck did I just catch? I've never seen a fish so beautiful before. 
I feel like this, it might be kind of rare. Perfect. You know, what's a Pisces chum do? I wouldn't swap it for that, but... Pisces gem is may evade magic attacks. And it's five time value, which is pretty good. I'm still using EP cut one on him. What? I just have an EP cut one. I think I could use anything else and it would be better. An EP two would be better. Okay, I'm not dealing with that though. That's not relevant. I'm gonna catch one more fish. Just while I'm here. I don't I didn't I lost track of the amount of actual carps that I caught. I can check six, okay. So I don't need any more carps, probably. We'll catch one more fish. Just on the off chance that the first one I see is another noble carp. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a unique fish. Cause like it is a sort of special fish. So I was doing that to catch the demon catfish down by the river. I hope I have enough carp to catch the f demon catfish. It might be worth increasing the high speed mode out of combat. No, I think I already- no, I increased in combat speed to like 6. But out of combat, still only like two. Let's just check. Uh... Let's try this for a second. Yeah, that's way too fast. I mean, it helps. It made it go faster. So now I need to use carp to catch a demon catfish. I'm feeling like I might not get it. I'm mostly gonna try to let the... Hey! Easy. 248. Third highest. Okay, I'm done there. Lovely. I only needed one and I caught six. And I need Arch Crab, which needs me to go to the Ancient Battlefield. Oops. So Ancient Battlefield to get the Arch Crab. Okay, the reason I don't have it at 6x ever, or why this is not going to become the new default, is because that's difficult to use. So I need to go to the Ancient Battlefield. And then, I don't remember how to get the Ancient Battlefield. I really hope it wasn't there. Um, ancient Battlefield is... Oh yeah, it's off of that. Whoops. If I fit in there, I go to Armorica and then I leave. The so Ancient Battlefield Pond to catch a crab. Nope, not here. I think you'll be faster. Let's do this. I'm gonna catch the crab in the ancient battlefield pond. Okay, that's where I wanna go. I have no idea where this pond is. Oh, yes, yeah, right there. These guys still aggro. Hopefully, they don't. I'm using snow crabs, which I think bamboo rod. I only have two. My assumption is that it's gonna be fairly only one fish here that I can catch, maybe, but. Done. I'll catch I'll try to catch one more because I don't need any more. And if I get a 200 to 202, I get a mine three gem. Because a mine three gem would be very nice. Yes, get to that. Oh, Python head. That's good to have a backup of. Okay, so I'm done here. I need to go back to the domain's abandoned mine for the gold salmon. And then I think I need to get another fishing rod from the fishing guy to use 
to catch the serpent head. Because I assume I need an upgraded rod to catch the last guy. Considering it's like 23 and then 24 is going to be the last step. Please don't run into me. Okay, I'm lost. I'm going up. Okay, this is like very difficult to control at this speed. So I'm going to Mains Mountain. Mains Abandoned Mine. I don't know where that is. I don't know where the Abandoned Mine is specifically. I also learned that this is where you make supreme dishes and then you interact with this and you get rewards. But I'm not doing that yet. I might do it at the very end today, but... I see, like... I'm gonna check what they mean, what it means abandoned mine. Because it's presumably not the one outside. Maybe it's, maybe it's in the second bit that was explored and unlocked recently. I'll check. I think this is Main's mine. Is this the abandoned mine? Yes. So I just need to find a place to fish here. Oh, there's not gonna be monsters because I cleared them out. Nice. I'm lost already. And I'm gonna be fishing with dumplings because I'm pretty sure that I did interact with the fishing spot at one point when I was exploring the area I can't remember precisely where it was but I assume it was down closer to the water as opposed to like all the way up here okay so that's where I entered there that's there Okay, so this, I think, has a path that eventually heads down to what I'm looking for. Wait, is that really? Lost. It doesn't help that I'm running around at 6x speed, because 6x speed is way too fast to play this game. I think this is where I'm looking for. No, I think I was looking for over there. Which would be up and around a bit. If I switch it to walk instead of run by default, I think this would be manageable at 6x speed. Because, yeah, walking, if I don't tilt it all the way is doable I'm just running back and forth at this point oh here's the fishing spot sweet this is golden salmon with deluxe dumplings uh no I need bamboo rod for deluxe dumplings I hope that there's only golden salmon or normal salmon is probably what's also going to be here. Alright, if I got it in one try, I'll keep going a little bit, just in case you can get multiple. Whoa, what the heck is this? Well, it's gorgeous, that's for sure. Is this some kind of rare fish? Like, I'm going to just see if maybe... Oh, don't mind if I do. Ugh. I don't, I don't want to search. I just want to see if you can catch multiple because then you can get multiple Taurus gems. I assume it's unique. And I mean, even catching a few extra of other fish is not bad. It's Sepeth, it's potentially gems, or quartz. So it's not bad. 
Because yeah, every rainbow trap is 5, 5, 10, 15 of everything. Yeah, if you get a max size rainbow trout, you can get 50 of every sucker. I. Oh my. Controller stopped working because I tilted it. Okay. I'm assuming I can't catch another one, considering the list I'm looking at, it only has one length for the last three types of fish. So I assume it's a unique fish. So I'll probably stop after this one. Yeah, considering I'm only getting rainbow trout, I'm going to assume that there's nothing else available there. And now I think it's back to the fishing guild because I only have one left and I don't think I can catch it with the rods that I have right now. Like my assumption is... Because I think there's something about you get a new rod from number tw for reporting 23 unique fish. And so I assume that rod is necessary for catching the last fish. I mean... This was a lot faster than I was expecting. I was expecting this to take me at least an hour to get most of these fish, but it wasn't as... It was more cooperative than I expected. Holy carp! You've managed to fish up the ever-elusive noble carp and even the gold salmon? This is unreal, Lloyd. Starting today, you are now a master fisher. I really wonder how you catch this without a guide. Finding the specific location with this, I mean, it is just deluxe dumplings at least, but knowing the specific location seems like a pain. Master Fisher Certificate, Aqua Wizard. You did it, kid. You managed to ascend to my level. We can finally discuss the Gold Salmon's glorious tail fin. That implies they're not unique. And the feeling of the Noble Carp's powerful tug on your line. Master Fishers are those few who have caught every known fish there is to catch in Crossbell. I sure am glad to have another pal on my level to talk to. Afraid I've got nothing left to teach you, Lloyd. It's up to you to figure it out from here, kid. <laughs> wow, this feels like a dream. Thank you for everything, Sergeant. There's one more thing. Somewhere in Crossbell's waters, there hides a mythical garden of there hides the myth mythical guardian of this land. A fish so immense, no one's caught it before. It's rumored that the Aqua Wizard I just gave you has the strength to reel that bad boy in. If you ever feel like you're up to the task, then challenge yourself to capture this legend of the deep. So I do not know, I did this increase? Yeah. It's Ursula Road Estuary, which I think I know where that is. Okay. I think the estuary is the one with the ruin. It's, I think it's there. I think this is the estuary. Because it also fits well as a location for a huge fish. Oh, we can use everything? Nice. Let's use a python head. Oh, got the timing. Boom, done. Easy. Three point, I'm assuming that's like 3.68 meters long. That is immense. And you literally would not be able to pull it up to the platform you're standing on. So I'm done with fishing now. And I think Grail Lock is pretty good. Well, whoa. What even is this thing? It's huge. No, it isn't. Look how small it is. You're holding it in your left hand. Is this seriously a fish? I thought my rod was going to snap in half. Haha, <laughs> today's got to be my lucky day. Oh man, I bet Surden's going to flip 
when he gets a load of this. Fishing done. I was kind of, that was kind of anticlimactic. It wasn't a battle, it, and it wasn't even difficult to time, but I could have just gotten lucky. Go to East Street, and before I forget, change uh, this weird, the zoom back down to a manageable 2x, no, 2x, and I'm done with fishing. I get a reward. Glorious! You actually managed to catch the Guardian of the Lake itself! The Serpent Head! I, I can't believe my eyes! You've gone and done it, Lloyd! Wah ha ha ha! The, so that really was the Guardian you were talking about after all? I was completely shocked by how enormous it was. The letter, the leg, that legendary fish has been the crossbow branch's arch nemesis for years. Throat. But now that you've caught it, it can only mean one thing. It's time I bestowed upon you a special title. And that title is none other than Divine Angler. This renowned title can only ever be awarded to one person per branch. Received the title of Divine Angler. Divine Angler Emblem, which is like plus 50 accuracy. Never would I, never would I expect you to surpass me and become a Divine Angler. Crossbow's very own Divine Angler. I couldn't be more proud. Uh, this is a little embarrassing to say. But you've supported me in more ways than I can count. Sure, I mean, he gave us a fishing rod. I hope that, despite this, you'll still continue to mention me in all matters of fishing. I see you're still a humble kid despite all you've accomplished. Wahaha. Wouldn't have it any other way. Wahaha ha 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 ha. Can I buy anything new? Oh, it'd be funny if I could buy, like, serpent heads. Not serpent heads, um, python heads. I kind of want to buy everything here, but I'm not going to fish ever again, so. So, now I have two new things to consider equipping. The Divine Angler, 50% accuracy up. And the Grail Locket, which is prevents all ailments. I think I'd give that to her. Oh, but I want the... Arts and the defense. Ah. I'm not going to use it. It's so good, but I'm not even going to use it yet. What a shame. But anyway, now I'm done with fishing. Fishing is done. This one's going to be done for today, but before that, I'm just going to briefly give one of each actually you can only do it one at a time but just i'm gonna read this and then do it some other time heh i knew east street was well eastern but i wasn't expecting to run into one of those these jizo statues here or wasn't expecting to run into one of these statues here jizo i think they're called this is my first time encountering such a statue it has quite a large face does it not what is the purpose of this pedestal in front of it I'd imagine it's used for food offerings. If we manage to cook up any dishes that came come out especially tasty, I suppose we could offer them up here. Yeah, that's a good idea. We do cook for ourselves a lot, anyway. Alright then. If we manage to whip up anything especially good, let's give this whole offering thing a try. Yeah, you can go here, and you can offer supreme dishes. I'm not going to deal with this yet. I'm going to do it when I'm... When I have all the recipes, I'm gonna do like it all at once because I'm still missing like a bunch of recipes. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, or eight recipes that I don't have yet. And then I'll craft, try to get supreme dishes for all of them. Try to get the failure dishes for all of them. What are they called? Like, yeah, the, the weird dishes on the bottom. One of each, and then it checks it off, it's done. I'm gonna wait till I have everything and just do it all at once. It might be better to do it as I go, but... Considering I'm not even consuming the recipes, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's where I'm stopping for today. I'm gonna go back to where I was standing when I started. But... I'm done with fishing. Fishing's done, got... Oh, I have to check what the Taurus gem is. Uh, it looks like it's a solar type. 
Not solar. Solar's not a type. Gem. Space. Absorb physical damage dealt as HP. That would be good on Randy. And it might be better than hit. Oh, I still need detection on somebody. Uh, anyone else that I could put detection on? Detection is one, two. Anyone that I can... I could put detection on her instead of attack. Let's remove this, give him... Oh wait, I'd have to put it here, and the hit 3 is a 2 tier gem, isn't it? So I'm gonna deal with that. Next time I'm gonna swap... I'm gonna upgrade Randy if I can, so that I can equip the Taurus gem on him so that he has lifesteal. He'll heal a lot. Well, he won't actually heal that much, but he'll heal. And then... She'll get detection instead of an attack one gem. She's just been carrying that attack one gem since I equipped it probably in the first or second chapter. Her setup is not very good. Like, the Bewitch gem doesn't seem great. None of these are exceptional. I need better wind gems for her. But, yes, that's where I'm stopping for today. Like, I bet, like, a tier, a higher tier gem here and a higher tier gem there would be enough wind for her, and then I could switch out a bunch of other stuff here. I could get rid of Intimidation. I want luck on someone. And she needs a better cast, but there's a... It's not... It's Gemini, I think. It's 50... It's basically the upgraded cast for 50% arts timing. Anyway, I got distracted. I was going to save, and I'm stopping here. Done with fishing. I hope you return with the next, next time where progress is made.